morning and welcome to the Centrally Our Travel Show portion of today's program. We say good morning to Kelly Blazowski from Winata County Tourism. Hey, Kelly, how are you? I'm great, Tim. Good morning. Good morning. We've got Halloween fast approaching. We're going to talk about some scary stuff this morning. Oh, we do. We have so many things going on uh, in the Valley when it comes to paranormal and horror attractions. And kind of the king of our regional um, horror attractions is here with us today, Josh Reel. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Yeah, always enjoy having you back. Um, KO Industrial is well underway. Um, your house of horror that is um, well established now. You're what, 16 years? This yeah, is your 16? 16, 16 years. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Can't you believe it's been that long. Quite accomplished at building and growing, and you're now up to five attractions. Yeah. So, yeah, tell everyone uh, what they can experience this year at KO. Um, our newest thing is the Atrophy Escape Board, and um, we wanted to do our own take on an escape board. So it's uh, more, it's different from the normal escape escape room attractions that people are seeing, like, come up everywhere. Um, we wanted to do, like, pretty much a KO attraction that has actors and interactive experiences in it with, uh, um, there's a lot of technology involved in it, too. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what you were telling me. There's a lot of interaction with technology so right. that, that triggers things to change in the room. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So you've this is your fifth. I mean, you've just really built the experiences um, yeah, uh, for people so that they one you want them to keep coming back every year and and um, experiencing what you've built. Um, and so uh, this is uh, the twenty first, and so you still have several more opportunities for listeners to get to Ko and uh, have some fun at the Warehouse of Horror. Okay. So. Um, Let's say go ahead and, you know, give the details on how to get tickets. I know you have some package deals and things like that. Right. Um, yeah, the, the four attractions we offer are uh, BioWar, Biotech, Revelation, Arcana Asylum. And um, the, we have a multi-ticket that's $30, which is the best deal. Best deal. Yeah. yeah. Or you can get the uh, escape room uh, ticket. It includes everything, like all four attractions and the escape room for just an extra ten, so it's forty. For forty, that that yeah. is a really good deal. So yeah, you get all five, all all the attractions plus the escape board, so that's five attractions really for forty dollars, less than ten dollars, right? An experience, so that's great. Now, um, when they can get their ticket, do they have to do all five at once? Right, I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. See, so, so if I bought my ticket tonight. Um, I could use, I could pretty much use it any other, any other day. So okay, so you don't have yeah. to immerse yourself in all five at, right. at once. Yeah, we actually have people who just come down and say, "Oh, we're only going to do two tonight, but we're going to come back with more friends and stuff like that." So that's a great way to do it. Then yeah. definitely I've been getting a lot of people from Syracuse and uh, Fort Drum, actually. Really excellent, yeah. yeah. Pulling people in from from all over. So, what's the average time that that one of the um, kind of wards would take to to go through? You know, uh, to, to, to go through each attraction takes yeah. about uh, I'd say about fifteen minutes. And okay, yeah. So it's about like a hour long, mm -hmm. a little over an hour long experience. But uh, that doesn't factor in the wait time. Like yes. when you have to stand in line. Right. And yeah. some some people we. Uh, we have like skip line passes or something like that, and and people uh, people are like no, we want to wait in line because that's part of the experience. Really? Like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to your friends and yeah. hyping one another up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm looking at one of your cards here for the attractions, and it says in small print on the side, may not be suitable for children or ad for adults. <laughs> adults can sort of figure out on their own, but if you've yeah. got a ch children, good to leave them home. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Um, uh, with that being said, we get a lot of questions um, if. Uh, they're like, I'm, I'm 16, I'm 17, am I allowed to enter? They think just, uh, that um, when we say it's not suitable for children, that it's, uh, you know, anyone under 18. But uh, we don't recommend it for anyone like 13 and under right. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, 14 and up. Yeah. We don't have an age limit, but we don't really recommend it for, you know. Okay. Very good. People do know. bring their kids and they can, sometimes the kids are 
crying and the adults are laughing. Sometimes the kids are laughing and the adults, <laughs> the adults are, crying. are crying and screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we haven't mentioned yet that all of this takes place on Broad Street in Utica. Right. Uh, you are in one of the warehouses, hence uh, KO Industrial Warehouse of, Hor- of Horror. Um, you occupy two floors of the wa- one of the warehouses. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you've really grown. You're at 811 Broad Street in Utica. Plenty of parking all around. Oh, yeah. Free parking. Um, yeah, free parking. That's good to know. Um, so, and you're going to continue on. Um, the uh, Warehouse of Horror will be open until November 3rd. So, if you can give the details on the the days and times that you're open. Right. Yep. We're open tonight, the 21st, and uh, we're open uh, the weekend after 26th to the 28th. Uh, that's Friday through Sunday, and then we're open the 31st on Halloween, and then we're doing a bonus day on November 3rd. Okay. Just in case anybody parties too much on the weekend they can come the last weekend <laughs> yeah. so but something different uh this year for us to share is that the escape ward that is going to be a year-round attraction right so, um yeah, yeah so the escape room we're offering it in november as well um uh, right now we're doing the um th- uh, two of the two of the rooms right now in october and then in november you're able to do all uh, all eight escape rooms. Okay. So. And and then, <clears throat> excuse me, after kind of this quote-unquote your season of <laughs> Halloween right. and Haunted, um, then the escape ward will continue to operate. Uh, what days of the week will that be? Um, that's going to be on the weekends in November, too. And you can go online on our website. Uh, that's koindustrial.com. That's, well, C-A-Y-O industrial. Um, and there's a link that says Atrophy Escape Ward. And you can actually get tickets for it uh, in advance um, for for the escape room in November. Okay. And there's a passcode that um, the password's KO in, in all capital letters. KO. Yeah. C A Y O in all caps. Yep. Okay, very good. And the other thing you're doing coming up the weekend of the 26th, 27th, and 28th, you will be out at Turning Stone for Scaracon. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're always out there. Yeah, we make a booth for that, and we're showing, um, we did, did a film, Necropath, that uh, won awards. Um, we, it's a film I did in segments, in three segments, and they all won awards, so I put them all together and made a whole film out of it. And we're showing that at Scaricon as well. So, so you're showing that within your booth area? Oh, uh, no, or? it's actually going to be after Scaricon ends at, I think, 630 or something like that. It's going to be on the main screen. On the main screen. Yeah, okay. where they do all the, um, like, actor interviews and stuff like that. They turn it into, a, like, a theater. Mini theater yeah. for the event. Yeah. Um, and you, you filmed this uh, totally locally. Yep. You uh, did all we, the filming locally. Yep. Necropath was filmed all around uh, KO, so, like, um upstairs mm-hmm. all around the building mm-hmm. so <laughs> yeah so give a little bit of the premise of necropath uh at, um we had a contest in 2014 well, uh we had to do a zombie film contest for uh this contest called empire state of the dead and i my friend jeff i wanted to we, we started working together and he's like yeah maybe we could try this as our first time working together mm-hmm. and i helped him with his film he helped me with mine and I submitted Necropath and won first place. So Excellent. So, so I kept up with making a second one, and then I made a third one and uh, just submitted them to festivals. And now I, I want to go bigger with it and try to get an investor for making it into a high-budget film. So. Mm-hmm. so you stitched all those together to to make one kind of feature with Necropath. Right. So And uh, that'll be a part of uh, the Scaricon event, as you said. Uh, now, which day can can Scaricon attendees see the film? Um, that I'm not sure. Okay. So I believe right. they, show, they show most of them on uh, the late Friday night, on right. the, Friday, the, first, the first day. So okay. the 26th. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it'll be on the, the main screen at Turning Stone uh, after the show floor right. shuts down yeah. for the day. Yeah, we also yeah. have a KO booth there, there where we give out like these flyers and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. So I get a lot of people ask me what what's on the the flyers. They're like looking at it and like, what is that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, all kinds of things that you'll find at the Warehouse of Horror. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of um, with the KO, the I don't make this like a typical kind of attraction where you know there's like clowns in one room or 
um, aliens in the next room, and then you know you don't you know it's kind of hokey. I think me personally, so I wanted to make it like on a a set theme, and we base more of our horror on like the reality and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. like with this flyer in particular. Um, I, I, we didn't start handing these ones out yet, but uh, like people look at it, and I don't know if you could be able to tell what it is. Um, <laughs> kind of looks like somebody's being operated on. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like some guts and things going on with it's, all kinds of other things that shouldn't be in there. <laughs> it's actually a bunch of plastic pieces. Oh. And uh, it's a bird. It's a, a dead bird on the beach. Oh, okay. So it kind yes. of, uh, I want people to like, when they look it at it. It's about the health of our oceans. Yeah, it's like scary. But yes. at the same time, it's like, wow, this is actually real. You yes. Know? And that's kind of like what KO is about pretty much with our the horror that we do. Wow. So. It's relatable to, want people to think something about, like, going on in the universe. Yeah. Yeah. When we, like, throw out things, you know, we don't really worry about it. But in the same time, everything that we're doing today affects, you know. Yes. Yeah. It certainly does. Yeah. yeah. So, again, your website is koindustrial.com, and that's C-A-Y-O. Industrial.com. And uh, you can get all the details for all the attractions that are happening at 811 Broad Street in Utica. Right. And uh, also um, information on Necropath, your movie, uh, and all the things you've got going on. Uh, so, And you can purchase tickets online, you said? Yeah. Um, for the attraction, you can come down any night. All, all tickets for October are available at the attraction because we get okay. a lot of uh, people asking that, too. Walk-ups. Um, yeah. So you can come any night of the attraction and get tickets. The only thing that sells out is the escape room. So... Okay, so those you might want to do in advance. Yeah, and if you want to do the November all eight room attraction, then go on our website and, and get that in advance. Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much, Josh, for joining us again this year. Thanks.